All right, I don't know how to, how I'm gonna get focused by myself. I could use my foot. This is like where my head will be. What's up guys, I'm back. And uh, I know you're thinking, this is Dolan Twins, there's just one of you. Obviously something's up, and there is something up. And that something is a prank. Uh, I can say that as loud as I want right now because Ethan isn't home. He, he asked me if I wanted to go out to eat, and I said no, because right now I have a sinus infection, I'm pretty sick, so I was like, I'm just gonna take a nap, get some rest so that I feel better for tomorrow, because we're filming another video tomorrow. But that's not at all what's happening. What's really happening is he's getting pranked. Uh, oh, I'm kind of sweating. <laughs> Doing this alone is kind of awkward. <laughs> Uh, all right, so here's how the prank is going to go down. So just to give you guys some background, the house that Ethan and I live in right now uh, is not actually owned by us. It is owned by a lovely man named <laughs> is our landlord. He's a good guy. We haven't met him in person yet, but we've talked to him over the phone just through call and text and stuff like that. So we don't know what our landlord looks like. We just know he's like a cool dude. I... I'm not the one that normally talks to him. I, I just like think like when we got the house, Ethan got his number and you know, like whenever we talk to him, it's always off Ethan's phone and stuff like that. We've never met our landlord and our real landlord in real life told us last week that he'd love to meet us and he wants to come by and see the house because he hasn't been here in a while. It's the house he grew up in, but he's renting it to us at the moment. Our real landlord actually texted Ethan last week that he'd love to meet us a week from then. So it's like around the time that it is now or like a couple days from now, uh, which is perfect because I need some time to get this prank together. So my plan for this prank is instead of having our real landlord show up to meet us, I'm going to have a fake landlord show up to meet us. So I'm gonna have someone pose as our real landlord, come to the house, look around, look at everything, and then kick us out of our house, telling us that we only have seven days to get our asses out of here. Because Ethan has been doing things that go against the contract that we signed in order to stay at this house. Basically, all the things that annoy me about Ethan, I'm going to have the fake landlord yell at him about and kick him out of the house for. Since Ethan is normally the one that converses with our landlord through text, not me, I'm going to have to hijack his phone uh, and go through the text so that I can have our fake landlord bring up conversations that they've had over text so it seems like he's talking to the same guy. How I'm gonna do that, pretty f simple. My face is his face, so Face ID will just let me in. Good morning. So I'm up pretty early today, and you know who's not? Ethan. <laughs> Obviously. Time to get on Ethan's phone. That was easy. So I'm just gonna search our landlord's name in his text right now. I'm just gonna screenshot up all of the conversations that they've had. Again, this is so our fake landlord can bring up these texts in conversation so there's no suspicion that it's not the real dude. I got enough of those. Now I'm gonna airdrop those texts that I just screenshotted my phone, delete them off Ethan's phone, and then put Ethan's phone back, he'll have no idea. And we're good. So the next thing I need to do for this prank is to get a few hidden cameras. I need to hide cameras around the house, so that Ethan cannot see or be suspicious of so that he doesn't know that it's a prank and it doesn't crash and fail right there. My goal is for Ethan to not see a camera. I'm gonna hide them in like bushes and I'm gonna go to a spy shop and get a few cameras that Ethan will never have a suspicion of it recording him because it's just gonna be like an object. The spy shop. Literally, this place is called Spy Shop. They have the glasses. Oh my God, these look really real. Where do they even film from? How are you? Good. Good. I'm uh, I'm pulling a, a prank on my brother. So you touch here. That's good. And they turn on. Okay. This looks good. Like the clear, the clear yeah. side. Yeah. I think we got these clear. Alarm clock. A pen. Pen cam. I'm gonna look around and find a few that uh that I think will work out well. I got it. I got glasses that I plan on putting on the landlord. 
and uh, so that, that way you can see Ethan's reaction from his point of view. So it's like face to face, <laughs> which would be really funny. And then I got a pen that he could put in his shirt pocket that records as well. So he'll be able to see Ethan right in front of him in case the glasses mess up or anything like that. I will show you guys how this spy gear works when I get home. I'm gonna put the glasses on and the pen and try them out. I'll see you there. All right, so the first thing, the glasses. Let's figure out how these things work. So now they should be ready to record. I just need to figure out how to turn them on. Wow, these are sick. Did you hear that? I feel like a real spy. All right, and it's recording. Let's walk around and see how this works. So let's say that this is Ethan. It's really just a nutcracker, but um, this is what it's supposed to look like. It's like first person and stuff like that. All right, so that is the glasses clip. Supposedly, this little pen that I got at the spy store kind of just looks like a like a normal pen, right? It even works, but it's also a mini camera right here. All right, let's see how well it works. Yo, Ethan, it's just a pen, right? Look again. What's up, pen? <laughs> I'm talking to a pen. And it's listening. It's fucking awesome. My mind is blown. I just filmed myself on a pen. That's how you know I'm doing this prank the right way because I just filmed myself on a pen. So the spy gear works. That's good to know. All right. So I got the glasses camera, the pen camera, and I have like 50 cameras right here that we used to film our YouTube videos. The last thing that I have to do now is to find an actor to play the part of our middle-aged landlord who is going to get really frustrated with Ethan. So I'm gonna go find that guy, hook him up with all these hidden cameras, and tell Ethan that our landlord would love to meet us. Okay, what's up? I'm here at my agency and I'm with Walt, who is going to be playing the part of our landlord, our not so happy with Ethan landlord. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're just going over the things that Walt's gonna say to Ethan and they're <laughs> really funny. What's one of the things that you're gonna, one of the problems that we're gonna well, have? There's so many, I mean, you've, you've come up with some great material. I mean, I can't believe how much you've been studying what your brother's been up to and all the <laughs> little things that he's been doing to, to screw up the house and, and while we take the tour through the place, it's just gonna be one thing after another. Yeah, and it's just gonna get like progressively worse and worse. We're gonna pile it on. Walt's gonna get more and more pissed uh, at all the, the damage that we've <laughs> we've caused to the house. When you go in Ethan's room, you should be like, this actually used to be my room, only it's, uh, yeah. you know, it's a little different now. I don't like it very oh. much. <laughs> That's good, yeah. I'm thinking, how far should we let it get before we, we call it off and, and tell him it's a prank? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, he, Ethan's gonna lose his mind. He's gonna start freaking out. Yeah. What if we just let him lose his mind? What's yeah, wrong I with that? I think we should let him. We should let him lose his mind. But I think like eventually we're gonna have to, we're gonna tell him. What if our landlord fake slapped me? Like Ethan and I do this thing where like we we put our hand under our chin. And like Ethan will slap it, and I'll be like, I'll like go down, like, and we'll do it like in public, and everyone will be like, what the f is going on? Slap, we just slap here, and yeah, you go for it. And that's where Ethan will realize that it's probably fake, or he'll freak the f out. Right. But I'll, I'll do it. I'll quickly start laughing. I'll make sure that Ethan doesn't attack. Right. <laughs> uh, I think we got a prank here. Oh, this is a good prank. We just went through the, the entire plot of the prank, and it, it's coming together good. We're just gonna go over some more details. Uh, and, and we're gonna get to it. Tomorrow afternoon is when the prank is going down. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do ready. it. <laughs> All right, so that's Ethan playing the drums in his room right now. <sighs> Tomorrow, I don't know if the landlord's gonna be too, too uh, happy about that. <laughs> Guys, my mom texted Ethan and I in a group chat. Well, I had my mom text Ethan and I in a group chat. What's up? Your landlord wants to meet you tomorrow bef uh, around noon. Is that cool with you guys? I just said, yeah, Ethan said, yeah. And then we briefly talked about it together today. I, I thought it was like too sus to pull my phone out and like try to see sneak film while we were talking about it because it just randomly came up in conversation. Uh, but Ethan was like, yeah, man, like it'll be cool like to finally meet the landlord. Like he seems like a cool guy. So, <laughs> so he like so casually just thinks our real landlord is coming over tomorrow. I mean, he has no reason to suspect anything. So I went to this store today and I bought Two more GoPros, uh, another SD card. We have two GoPros, and then I have the pen camera, the glasses cam, and I have a few other little cameras too that I could place around the house. All right, so tomorrow I'm gonna be waking up really early in the morning. I have Walt coming at 10, 
I'm gonna get all the cameras ready, charge them up tonight, and then I'm gonna sleep extra early because I'm gonna get up extra early to get Ethan's ass tomorrow. Let's do it. Good morning. So I have the glasses cam fully charged, the pen cam fully charged. That's six cameras, that's cool. We're also gonna have the glasses on Walt's face so he could be walking everywhere with them getting it. What I'm gonna do now is go lay out all the cameras in the rooms and see like what the best angles that we can get are. I think you're putting me in the camera. Right here. I'm gonna lead Ethan and Walt into this room and then I put my pen camera right there in my pen bucket and we're gonna stand right about here. This is where Walt's gonna be very, very angry. Find Ethan's bright yellow drum set uh, that is against the contract of the house. And I'll have this camera stationed in this corner to get this entire room when everything goes down. And we'll have a camera guy right here. Just out. When everything goes down, come right this way. And Ethan will know he just got pranked by his more smarter brother. All right, sweet, so uh, I'm just gonna go get these cameras all rigged up and ready to go. Uh, then I'm gonna wake Ethan up and let him know that our landlord is here to visit and get his ass up and come greet him and say hello. Let's do it. <laughs> Ethan actually just woke up here. I'll slide you the glasses. I gotta say, can I f confess something to you? Ugh. I didn't want to rent this place. Yeah. No, no. This is hey, Ethan. Ethan. Yeah. Nice, nice to you. meet you, man. Yeah. Wow, cool. This is your Jeep out there? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I can give you a little bit of the tour. It's like, I don't know if we've got a home vibe going on here. Yeah. No, that's great. Yeah. Huh. Let's go. What's with the bookcase? Oh, um. Our, uh, our friends who had to do custom furniture need that for us. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it looks solid. That's great. Yeah. You know, the trick with these is um, mounting it. Yeah. So the trick is whether or not they mounted it to, you know, studs. Because this thing could just come down like nobody's business. Hopefully they did. I think I saw some. <sighs> okay. We can go right into this room over here. Okay. Yeah, we actually have like, some people come and do some interior design for us over here. Hmm. So like that's why. Wow, yellow chairs. <laughs> it's loud, but hey, whatever works for you. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Huh. And then uh, we um, did paint that wall. Yeah. God, it's like dark now. Ah, oh, jeez. But that's also we can get changed back and stuff. For you the, uh, yeah, but it's like black. Uh, it's hard to paint over that kind of thing, but this has got to go. Um, I hate to say it, uh, and probably the sooner the better, because this color is just like it's it's too dark. Okay. Um, I'm, I hope that's not too big of that. Whatever. I mean, it's just we it's got to go. It, we can get it figured out. Yeah. 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 It's a lot of paint. A lot of paint. A lot of coats to get that that taken care of. Um, Okay. All right. Yeah, well, I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, it's awesome. Huh. Is this like permanent? This, what do, what do you call this? It's a, what was it? A pergola? Oh, yeah. It's not permanent. I think uh, it just, uh, there's like little screws like in the ground right there and then you can just get that filled in with concrete. I mean, <laughs> this isn't like, um, you know, the wind catches something like this and we're going to have a problem, especially if you, you probably have had some people over here in the pool, right? Yeah, and yeah. I mean, we get a windy day and this thing comes over. Unfortunately, the liability is mine. 
you know, that's, it's, it's my house. And, and if you put this in, then it falls back to me. So, um, that's, it's, uh, I mean, this kind of looks like a Home Depot install or something like that. I mean, those little screws. I mean, it's not, okay. that's not legit, right? I think it was, I think it was, yeah, it was legit. We had, we had a good team come do it, like an interior designer. Okay, team. okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, interior designers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're rolling out carpets. They're hanging pictures on the wall. I mean, they can't install construction and do carpentry like this. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, man. I told you it kind of broke my heart. I was telling Grayson, I, uh. I never really wanted to rent this place, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. I grew up here. I've yeah. got too many memories. Mm -hmm. The wife comes to me and she's like, ah, oh, come on, we gotta do this. Anyway, well, thank you it's, for yeah, well, I'm glad you're uh, making it at home. Oh, just like set right, 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 right. No, this, uh, some people were telling me about this. I guess this is what's, uh, what you do on the YouTuber thing or whatever. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Oh man. This is like more of this mounting stuff, you guys. I mean... Uh, yeah, well, uh, it has to come down, but it's like filling the holes and everything. But that's not me. <laughs> yeah, this was my bedroom. Really? Back in the day. Well, it didn't look anything like this. <laughs> oh, boy. Did I do it right with the bed layout and everything? Uh, I had mine the other way, but okay. yeah. You're a drummer. Somewhat. Yeah. Yeah, it's for fun. Yeah, I didn't know about the drums. Is this, uh, this is like, uh, when these, what do you wear headphones with this drum set? Is that yeah, what it is? Yeah. So, you, nobody can hear it. Yeah. Well, that's a relief. Yeah, all right. Feeling it. Nice. Ah, okay, so it is a band. You got a whole band going, is that right? I mean, as long as, you know, you got your headphones and stuff, it's no big deal. Guitar, keyboards. How many twins are there? Are there multiple twins? How many people do you have over? <laughs> I shouldn't ask that, but, you know, I'm a landlord, I got to, right? Just like storage. Uh, right. Right. Hmm. Nailed it. So you got the real drums. Yeah. Make some noise. Yeah. Oh man. This is like way more than I thought was gonna be happening for the guest house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah wow, well, I mean this is this is not good. I mean, this isn't sound. You don't think this is soundproofing, right? This isn't like soundproofing. No, to yeah, keep, yeah. To that's... keep people from hearing it, right? I tried a little bit. At least they'll get worse or something. Yeah, I mean, it was like the the room is pretty soundproof. I don't ever get complaints or anything. And then, like Grayson said, he can't hear me when he stands outside. So. Yeah, I'm not sure that you know whether or not you get complaints or not. I'm the one that's going to wind up getting the complaints. Everybody knows me. I'm the one that grew up here. I'm trying to save this place for my daughter. You understand that, right? Yeah. I never wanted to rent it to you guys, but here you are. You've moved in. You've, you've made a, a studio out of it. I don't even know if we're allowed to do studio stuff here. And now you're talking about like a band practice kind of thing. How often do you do it, do you think? Um, I used to play a lot more, but now that I have like the, the electric one, the headset, it's just easier. It's right in my room. Okay. Yeah. 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 Not really. It's not a big deal. I don't know. It seems like a big deal to me. I don't know exactly how to break it to you guys, but um, I know we're coming up on the end of the lease. Yeah. I'm not inclined to renew the lease, knowing uh, what's going on here and seeing what I'm seeing. Have you gotten complaints from neighbors? Yeah. Well, uh, it's it. You know, it's a combination of things. It's not. It's not working for me. See what I'm saying? You want you want me to get rid of the drum set and then we can stay or what? Well, I don't know if that that's going to work. To be perfectly honest, I mean, I told you I had reservations about renting the place to begin with. So, um, you know, the way I'm looking at it, in a perfect world for me, yeah. you know, I don't know what you're up to for the next seven days, but I would love to see things get moved, get packed up, and get out. I've got the paperwork in the car, um, ready to go.
You want to get out in seven days? You can't leave in seven days. Yeah, because our lease doesn't end until April. Yeah. Uh, well, that's when the lease ends, but we're going to do all this work just to be able to get it up and rentable. I mean, I think that's the only fair thing to do, isn't it? Who finds a place to live in seven days? How are we going to do that? Oh, there'll be plenty of places. Are you kidding? You moved six times since you've been here. Yeah, but that's a good each time it's sucked. No, it's it's not ridiculous. <laughs> like, like, no, you're being ridiculous. Like, no, we're, like, we, I think we've been like really good tenants so far. Like, yeah. Uh, well, first of all, can you take a step back for my brother right now? Yeah. Uh, well, okay, it's just it's a big deal. No, man. for real. No, no, no. But, uh, listen, just relax. Just chill out. Back you off. Know, you man. need to relax. No, I don't need to relax. This is my house. I grew up here. All right. I don't need to relax. You don't need to tell me to relax. I'm coming here as a courtesy. I could have just sent, you know, sent somebody to deliver an eviction notice. But I wanted to come. I wanted to talk to you, you guys. To evict us? Uh, it's not exactly. I, I, I was holding out hope that there would be something good going on here. But all I'm seeing is drum sets and, and extra installations. And yeah, no, quite honestly, I'm stunned. I can't even believe it. It's like, for me, this is like a disaster day. So that's what you like doing. You like, like, come in like you try to get kids out who like are hungry and try to accomplish their goals and like hey, you, great, you so just try to stop no no like dude that's f yeah uh, look seven days that's obviously not possible like when you go move in seven days you can't do it it's not possible it's just not working i literally just woke up like 30 minutes ago and now we kick out of the house i hold the cards in this situation guys i'm sorry to say um and this is it it's time to go How are we gonna, like, seven days to leave our house? It's not a problem. Yeah, well, you'll make it work. Well, or can we come to, like, an agreement where we can leave at the end of the lease? Uh, well, uh, the end of the lease. No, I, I, I just really... trying to butter me up or something. Yeah, I, I don't know, I don't know what's in it for me at the end of the lease. Can you not talk to my brother like that? Like, I really hate your attitude. Like, extra, extra months of rent. Extra months of rent? Isn't that the point of renting a house, you pay rent? Yeah, no, I'm going to get the rent either way. See, please back up. I'm going to please back up. Back up. I'm not... You don't have to... You don't have to... What are you f***ing doing? Kyle! <laughs> <laughs> Holy... This <laughs> 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 slap! What the... <laughs> who just slapped who? Uh, oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! Who is this man? Amazing! Uh, I thought you were a landlord! Uh, <laughs> Why am I hugging you? Uh, what? Oh, Who is this guy? All right. I was just waiting to just up Get the- Get this man a f***ing Who is this man? <laughs> well, that was amazing. Oh, Dude, I thought you were trying to fight him. Like, just, <laughs> I thought Grace just got in a fight with our landlord. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What's it like to have a brother that plays tricks like this on you, man? It's awesome. It's so great. You say so. It's it's really, uh, Motivation to get him back. Ah, uh, no, no, no. That was a good one, bro. I stuck on your phone and I, I screenshotted all the texts with, with our landlord that you have and I shared them with Walt, so that's why he was able to study and he knew everything that you guys had talked about. Wow. But uh, we sold it. Holy sh. Yeah. <laughs> Give me one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. Oh, my. Walt, you killed it. Thank you so much. Right you on, really guys. killed it. I was like, how was that? How was that acting? What? <laughs> that was too real. It's too perfect. <laughs> God. Look at that. Look. <laughs> okay, this is a camera right here. Is it actually recording? Yep, it's a pen. It's recording. See? Oh, blink, man. blink. And take a selfie. What's up, pen cam? Say. What's up, pen cam? I just got bitched. <laughs> <laughs> say what's up. To, oh say what's up to Hidden Cam. It kind of matches like the whole. It does. It's like a gray. It's not Hidden Camera. And then come on to your room. There's a camera in my room. What did, how did they. When did they get there? And then right here, we got our last camera. Yeah, I saw that one after uh, he slapped you in the face. And you, and you told me it was a prank. I got you good. All right, Loki, you did pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty good. That was amazing. You thought we were getting kicked out of our house like, you know, you thought, I, you thought I just got into a fight with our landlord, a 50-year-old man. Yeah, I thought you just got bitched by a 50-year-old man. <laughs> but instead, you got bitched by a 19-year-old boy guy. What? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just happy I'm not moving. I don't have to move all my stuff. I can just go back to bed right now. I'm kind of relieved in a way. You know when you have like a bad dream and then it's not real, so you're like happy when you wake up? That's how I feel right now. Get 
jazz over here. Dude. Bow down, bow down, bow down, bow down. So you know you get to bow down and then you can sit. I'm not bowing down. Bow down. I'm not bowing down. Bow. That's not, that's my arm. Yeah, you go, you go like this. No, I'm not doing. Give that. me one. Give me one. Give me f***ing one, bro. I got you good. I'll. Yeah. Yes. Fake landlord prank, bro. A f amazing. I got you so good. Dude, you only got me good because I was tired. Yeah, my ass. Only got me good because I was tired. Tired is the biggest excuse ever. Oh my god, I actually cannot believe that worked. I, I can though, because I'm like a genius. But like, I, 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 I'm so happy it worked. Dude, Walt f murdered it, dude. Yeah, Walt's a good actor, bro. Walt's a really good actor. <laughs> what was that? How did you feel throughout the entire thing? I was trying to control my anger, bro. I was so mad. I'm like, why is this guy just kicking us out of our house for no reason? Bro, I felt mad weird. Uh, but that was like, oh yeah, I planned this. <laughs> All right, this week's notification shout out goes to Elisa Mitchinson. Elisa, thank you so much for all your support. You said in your tweet with the notification bell that you were a fan and subscriber for five years, so thank you so much for thank that. You. Uh, if you want to be shouted out in next week's video, just uh, subscribe. Guys, please subscribe for me thinking that I needed to leave my house. Subscribe for me getting Ethan. That was amazing. Thumbs up if you think this prank was good. And I and I, like thumbs up for respect of this prank, please. And please subscribe. Yeah, but okay, if you want to shout out, subscribe, turn that notification bell on, screenshot it and tweet it to us and we'll shout you out. You got all this energy today, I'm like dead. Yeah! Dude, I'm so happy that it worked. And I'm gonna go back to sleep because I can sleep in my house that I don't have to leave. All right, just bow down one more time and we'll say peace. I'm not doing it, bro. And you're sitting here all day. Peace! <laughs> yeah! What's, What's up, up, guys? Everybody, go to last week's video. Pop, pop a tuck, pop a click on those end cards you see right there. On the subscribe button. Check out last week's video or subscribe. And we have some merch link in the bio. We have some of the merch link that's in the bio. It's so good merch. Super out, friend. <laughs>